Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot Card. These are your Daily Tarot Cards for Tuesday, March 22nd, 2022. Today we're pulling from the Wheel of the Year Tarot Cards. We're starting off with the Knight of Wands. So they're talking about this young, charming, sex sexy, vicarious young man rushing into a situation. They're saying, you know, uh, really think about this situation because this person rarely does. They're always in perpetual motion. You know, and they're like, you know, be careful bestowing your heart with him, you know, because he may not be there for keeps. He may be there for just the moment. I feel like for some of you, this is regarding love. We did have, you know, they were highlighted, but that was the page of wands yesterday talking about someone highlighting someone in our life that would could be a valuable asset down the road. I feel like for some of us, this is like we... I guess reacted too quickly in a situation. I I, I feel or <clears throat> that's I, I that's what I feel. I feel like that's really hitting the nose the nail on the head. <clears throat> that we thought the situation. I feel like more due diligence. You know what I mean. I feel like as time has gone on, maybe we should have done some more due diligence. But that's where I feel like this tower moment comes in. I feel like we owe taxes with this card. You know, this is a minor, this is a minor message with the crows around. Uh, but I feel like, I don't know if you're currying favor with someone, but I feel like they see, like, you know, I'm not trying to get all um, superstitious or anything on this, but they are really doing their research when it comes to everything, you know? Um, I'm just saying from a situation I know about without giving away too much, uh, being as discreet as possible, you know, that they really dug in and like researched somebody that I know. And I was, I was impressed. I was like, dang, they really did their research. So I feel like because of that person's opinion, that may change things. Like I'm not a hundred percent. Like I know it's out of their hands to some degree, but I don't know if they, they, it just sits with them and they, they sit there. I, I don't know. I have a good feeling about this, you know, because they're saying release all fear, worry, and doubt here. You know what I mean? So I, I, I'm, I don't feel like this is like, you know, with, when they when talk about a tower moment, evolving a building, a home's foundation for me personally, as a reader and a healer and my experience reading for others and any of you that I've read for or seen this, you're probably like, Oh dang, you know, but I don't feel that with this. They're not telling me about anything. Any situation in particular, I know with a couple of you, it's been a, a life-altering uh, a, a, a situation with a passing of a loved one or a passing of someone that's been significant in your life. Um, for for another person, this was um, a physical altercation with someone in their home. You know, they do talk about roommates, you know, and then someone moves out because of it. So it was knockings of that. Um, but I don't feel that here. I feel like... There's a, other forces at play here. So I wouldn't, I would do what you're supposed to do. Like I've told this person, do keep doing what you're supposed to do, but don't sit there and, um, feel like this is the last thing. This is the last straw because I don't know what's going to happen there, but something may happen, uh, to help you in your favor. So it could be a foundation of a relationship. So they were knocking about this yesterday. A lot of combativeness I'm seeing coming up. You know, we are heading into new moon energy you know, right now until uh, April 1st, that is when the new moon takes place. But also in the middle of April, right around Easter time and Passover, we are having pre-Mercury retrograde energy. <clears throat> so I think that, you know, we're getting some taste of that. And I feel like right now, because we have Aries and Scorp Scorpio in the sky, I feel like that combativeness there where it's just like Aries has a bad temper, Scorpio me like main people with their words like they, it's like it comes out of nowhere and it's like ka-chow like you know they get you so i'm seeing that tail strike you know but we're using our verbal words here so i'm wondering if this is where it's like you kind of put your foot in your mouth so it's like watch what you're saying and i feel like that's where with yesterday they were like you know value people in your life don't overlook certain people so unfortunately, they say a home was lost, lost due to foreclosure. We're seeing a lot of that uh, when a relocation occurs that is unpleasant. It um, could have been seen uh, when something like minor, like a flood happens. We are in flood season in New Brunswick. Um, 
A building disturbed in your life could simply mean a relocation, even a fight with roommates. You know, we get that a lot with you when you have siblings. So in due time, healing and it will take place and all events will, <coughs> excuse me, all events of people are shown and this card will resume their normal position. The rug may feel like it's been pulled out from underneath you, but peace will, will come to the valley in due time. Here we got like combativeness. This is where I feel like siblings are fighting here. And it's like you get in the middle because both their swords pierce the acorn because you get in the middle of it. You know, sometimes it's just like you got to let them have it out sometimes. You know what I mean? But I just feel like it's like stir crazy. I feel like, you know, they're the, you know, especially my kids, they're used to being outside fishing and swimming and beach and, you know, visiting cousins. With this card in particular, they were showing from Game of Thrones. Where it's like one is um a, will be a wand using our fire energy and one will be using our sword, our higher levels of thinking. A situation comes out of the blue, we're at a crossroads, which what choice to make here? You know what I mean? And this scenario here, it's just you know but this is why I think, you know, especially, you know, with the star talking about peace being returned here. Very Gaia. Look at her hair, it's like seaweed. You know, this is Gaia here, you know, but this is where I feel like the universe is going to be by your side and help you out. They're going to help you with this situation. I feel like that's why I feel like, especially with lightning, you know what I mean? I feel like there's the source, the, the, the energy of the universe here at play. That's why I'm saying don't, don't count this as, you know, it's a final situation. You know, that's why I was just like, you know, just because. With this particular situation, you know, that's what they're told. Like I told the person, I'm like, do what you're told to do. But I, I feel like something's going to happen there. So the star almost heard, healed a period of peace and healing. <clears throat> and embodies peace and creativ creativity, creativity spirit of Zodiac Aries. Using our higher levels of thinking. But staying grounded in our emotions. You know, that's all we can do in situations like this. <clears throat> Eventually in time... You'll be able to crush up negative situations and make it to a positive. Shane's passing date ended up being one of my f friends, close friends' freaking birthday. Like, who even would have thought? Another friend's daughter's birthday. You, who would have thought? Like, you, who would have thunk it? Like, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so even though in your life it is this, you know, event, doesn't, you know, I feel like the universe will send something that will be positive. So it's like, yeah, you remember this date, but... At the same time, they're they're crushing up the negativity of the situation and making it into a positive. It could mean that you're reuniting with someone after a breakup or a separation from a loved one for the time being. So we got knockings of this yesterday. With the blue hue, I definitely feel like coming out of the blue. With the Queen of Swords being present yesterday, I feel like this is don't be delusional. Definitely see the light of the situation. See the truth of the situation. This card may come after a tough time that brings with it the message that there is peace on its way to you. That's what I'm talking about. You know, all beauty and light will soon, uh, uh, will soon be re um, restored in your world and you may receive assistance from someone in the process. Some readers consider this card to symbolize your guardian angel here to bring you peace and after and joy after heartache. This card um, where it feels too good to be to, true to feel this good. But believe it, because you deserve this, whatever, whatever joy, you deserve this joy, whatever, after you've gone through in the past. You could pin your dreams on this star because it is ready to do so, make them come true for a very long time. And I feel, that's what I feel like. Peace is being restored. And, there, and you know, with the four of, of, of coins, you know, you know, talking about our home, it's like, don't worry. You know, putting boundaries in front of us because we're doing things differently with the magician experience, the world you know, the luck Jupiter is on your side, you know? So this is where I feel like this shift. I feel, you know what I mean? Even though this has happened, you know what I mean? I feel like this is something, a temporary setback is what they're saying. You know what I mean? That's why I'm like, don't put too much energy into this. You know, it happened. You know, like I told them, it's like, this. it is what it is. Make a payment plan, pay it off and be done with it. You know what I mean? That's all you can do. The message from the Four of Pentacles when it arrives in your day is that you're hanging on to something out of fear. There's nothing uh, wrong with that. We all hang out to things of fear of losing them. This is not an action card, but a card of pulling everything close to your vest in an effort to maintain control and stability. It often takes great discipline to do so. And so the theme of discipline is present in your day. <clears throat> when you see this card, 
when this card appears, the message uh, is to look at your environment and what are you so afraid of losing? It may not be a bad idea to relax your ways of life as this card brings the message that you have nothing to fear at all. So this is where I feel like they will work with you or X, Y, and Z, whatever the situation is. I'm just using this particular situation. You know what I mean? I just feel like everybody is just stir crazy. Everybody is like, you know, squirrely, you know, so energies are running on high. So if this is a relationship breakup, whatever this is, it may just be a temporary separation. And then it's like, it's a, you know, sometimes we, oh, we take people for granted, you know, we don't realize how much they do. We don't realize how much they contribute to our lives or anything until it's gone. You know what I mean? And when it's gone, then we're it's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I made a mistake and yada, 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 you know? So I feel like this is where it's just like, you know, why sit there and wait until you lose it? You know, put the energy back into the relationship it's, if you feel like it's worth saving. So the Six of Swords, we're making boundaries here, you know? We're setting out on our journey to move forward. And the Six of Swords is like, you know, we're, 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 we're protecting ourselves. We have the experience to move forward. The Six of, uh, of Swords is a card of journey and travel, either spiritually or physically. It could mean that something in your life has moved on from you and won't bother you anymore. That's exactly what I mean. That's why it's like, don't give it any more energy than it needs. You know, it happened. It is what it is. This is a card of forgiving and forgetting also. You've decided that no matter what pain has been caused in this situation, you are, are leaving it behind. You aren't forgetting it, though. And are putting swords in front of you to protect yourself for future heart, from future heartache. Although there's neither... <clears throat> Sorry. Though there are uh, putting swords in front of you to protect yourself from future heartache. Although there is not a lot of light going on in this card, it's a somber imagery. We're given peace through the hope that we are making a point to move past the pain and stress and to forge forward through our own courage and intuition. And that's what I mean. It's like we're still forging forward. It is. That's what I'm saying. It is what it is. You know what I mean? We can't fret about it. You know, just sit there wherever you can pick up more hours if you're able to and work and Put the money on whatever this is. You know what I mean? Or if this is like with a relationship breakdown, just, you know, I feel like you two will be reunited. I really do. I just feel like someone is, maybe they're getting a little more extra attention from people around them at work, at um, in social areas. <clears throat> and, you know, my friend Chris would always say that. He's like, why is it when I'm in a relationship, all the girls are circling around like vultures? And when I'm single, there's no one around. And I'm like, it's always like that, Chris. I said, because when you're in a relationship, you're the best you, you, you can be. And I'm like, when you're not in a relationship, you're upset, you're sad, you're in your emotions. And, you know, nobody wants to be with that. I said, everybody wants a happy-go-lucky person. And he's like, it's true. But I feel like you have the experience to see this through. When you have one of those days where it feels like nothing could go wrong, and you're the king or the queen of your world, you're... Um, and everything you touch is turns to gold. The magician will appear in your tarot reading. The magician is all about creating your destiny. This card bears a message that your talents and your own inner gifts are the keys to your success in this situation at hand. You have all the tools you need in front, right in front of you to ensure success manifests. This is a card about making something happen. And it is also directly tied to your instincts and your intuition. If you're feeling the urge to pull to do something, the magician card appears. The message of the major arcana card is to follow your intuition. It will weave magic for you at this time. And that's what I'm feeling. You know what I mean? They were saying like earlier that you may get a phone call this week that may solve the whole situation. You know what I mean? Because I feel like in that, they saw who you are. So we have the wheel, the world, the wheel of fortune world. <laughs> like God was wrong with me. We have the world as our last card. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's been a week and the week hasn't even started yet. <laughs> oh man. But... The world could be one, it could be, is, uh, in, oh my word. The meaning of the world, in, 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 world card is that you're reaching a point in your situation where all things are truly coming full circle. In love, this card means you, you that an engagement or a new beginning is not possible, but inevitable. So I feel like a verbal, co um, commitment is here. You know, for some of you, yes, this is an engagement. So when they're talking about this nine of wands, perpetual motion, unless he sat there and proposed to you and said, we are committed, then yes, definitely sit there and um, try and make this work. You know what I mean? Put your best efforts in. 
you know, but I feel like for some of you that are not in that, 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 that's not in your present in your life, I feel like a verbal agreement. So the fact that I saw like a phone call is coming this week that will, you know, have with some good news, that's what I mean. You know what I mean? I feel like karma is coming in here. You know what I mean? I feel like your luck is coming in here. I feel like the universe is coming in here. You know what I mean? Especially with the star, your guardian angels are protecting you at this time. You know, they're saying don't revert back to old ways. Um, so a marriage or a proposal or a brand new step in your journey is here. So a marriage. So this verbal co agreement could turn into a, um, a, a legal binding agreement. You know, I'm not trying to take the love and, and magic and the mystery out of marriage. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just saying, th think about it with, uh, like a, the factual thing. When we, we are in proposing an engagement, when you propose to someone, it's a verbal contract by giving you this ring I promise we will get married someday. <clears throat> when you get married, you are signing papers saying that I promise to be by your side till death do us part. What is mine is yours. Yours is mine. We are, you know, to become one. We are tied together. You know what I mean? So this is where I feel like some, you may get a phone call and then some sort of paper that is binding that will change everything. Your work may take you out somewhere in the world or connect you with foreign people or even events. It may take you uh, on a roll with foreign matters. The four, fix, the four fixed signs are present with this card. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. One of these fixed zodiac signs could be the key to your world and situation as well. The message here is to stay committed and fixated on your goals like these signs do. And success is just around the corner. This is the end of a cycle. It signifies completion of one, uh, uh, comp the completion of one journey in the beginning of an all new exciting one. When you see this card in your day, know that the world is definitely your oyster at this time. Everything you've been working for is about to happen. Enjoy. And that's what I'm saying. Like, even though this is a minor message that there may be a little bump, you know, this is so chariot energy. This is like they told us, they said there may be some bumps along the way with, but de with determination and dedication, you will be the victor wearing the wreath. You will win that victory, you know? So this is why I'm like, you know, don't sit there and count yourself out. Don't sit there and say, just because like what I told my friend here, from what I could see, I don't feel like this is the final thing. Even though they were told this, they did something that kind of changed their perspective even more. And they're like, hmm, I feel like that this person's going to sit there and do some more digging or see what other solutions they can figure out. And they might find a solution. You know what I mean? This is why I'm like, don't count yourself out. You know what I mean? That's why it's just like, it's important. You know, even if it's like I told them, even if it comes down, you get a letter and you start making payments. I said, everything will be fine. I said, do what you need to do. But negotiation is what they're saying. So what I'm saying is like, you know, sit there and do your best. And I'm like, don't give it any more time. I'm like, you know. Sit there and do whatever you can here. But I feel like because of what they said, definitely changed their mind. You know what I mean? Like if it, I was, I told them, I said it was up to that person. They would have just been like, you're good. Don't even worry about it. I got like, you know, we, you know, it's fine. You know, I, I got enough proof, but it, because of, you know, the situation, I was like, they need more than that, you know? So, you know, I was just like, don't worry about it. I don't know what this is though. Like, you know, I don't know what that phone call is going to be, but I feel like it turns things in a positive, you know, and that's what you've been working towards and that's all you can work towards, you know? So whoever this is, is with this fire sign. Good luck. Just because fire signs get a bad rap doesn't mean they're a bad partner. You know, they may have bad temper or whatever like that, but you know, you know, I feel like as long as you're not po poking and prodding and manipulative and, you know, try to make a, a situation worse than it is. It's like, you guys will be just fine. But I feel like they're a player is what they're trying to say here. So if they're committed to you, I feel like they'll be committed to you. You know, they're saying a uh, reason to be committed to you. So I feel like because of who you are, no one's loved them the way that you have. So I feel like this is a commitment, you know, so, you know, you do what's best for you. You don't, don't listen to outside entities. I feel like a lot of people are pushing against this because, you know, because they want to be with him. But you do what you feel is best. You love him then, and you want to be with him, be with him. 
no one else's opinion matters except yours too. You lay your you both of you lay your pen at, down at night. Nobody else. You do what makes you guys happy. You have one life to live. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Tuesday, March 22nd, 2022. So a lot of twos there. Great day for manifestations. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.